Came two years ago, back in 2014, when he won at Houston. Pagano trying to get back to victory lane. He's pretty close here, Paul. The gap between Sato and Juan Pablo Montoya. I'll tell you what, it'll be fireworks. This is his last chance, really. And there you see Dixon using up what he has remaining on the push to pass. The final lap. Simon Pagano in front. It was pit strategy. And great pit work by his team. A lot of cars. This could, this could be a problem as well. They're going to catch these guys before the end of the lap. So you would not want to catch these guys in two corners to go. They're going awfully slow. And that's exactly what's going to happen here as they make the right turn. And down the back stretch they go. For the last time, down Seaside Way. This is a problem. Oxworth is very off the pace right here. Into turn nine and ten. The final time through the hairpin. Will this come into play? Look at Dixon right on the back bumper with a 22. Right on the back wing. Can he make it happen? Simon Pagano trying to hold on. Pagano's going to win in Long Beach. What a run by Scott Dixon. Those slower cars. Here comes Sato. Yeah, Sato. Straight to open the 2006 champ car season. Ray Hall running one minute, 14 laps to Pagano, 110. So Pagano now completely in the clear. So is Bourdais. I think this is going to be a wild final lap. Graham Ray Hall hanging on as Newgarden and Power are right there now with the lead group. 21 of Joseph Newgarden was able to get by Will Power. And so now it's Newgarden that's going to close the gap on Ray Hall to see if he can take second away. Just a perfect flip-flop from last year. It was Ray Hall on the charge. Newgarden holding him off. Now Newgarden has a chance to come back. What a great battle here for the final two spots on the podium. Graham Ray Hall trying to hang on for second. Joseph Newgarden, after winning last year, has moved up to third. Will power back to fourth. And one of the things that's helped Graham, he's been using the push to pass, as Pagano is on cruise control. What a run for the 22 of Simon Pagano. It looked as though he wasn't going to be able to hold off Graham Ray Hall. But then after the damage, Simon Pagano checked out on the field. Pagano coming out of 15. He'll see the checkered flag for his sixth career win. What a run for Simon Pagano. Now the battle for the podium. Leading on the front stretch. So Simon Pagano comes onto the main straightaway. He'll see the white flag displayed, and we're in the final lap of the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. Last time a driver won three straight races in the Verizon IndyCar Series, the last two races of 2013, and the opener of 2014. It was Will Power that did it for Team Penske. Pagano is less than a lap from doing it again. Don't forget to add those two seconds. Remarkable, isn't it? <laughs> Incredible. Just textbook. Just perfect over the curves, consistent, the same thing each and every time. Remember for a segment of this race, Simon was not the race leader, was shuffled back to third on an exchange of pit stops and the timing of a caution flag. But they worked it just the way they needed to to get him back to the front of the final pit stop. And now he's in the final corners. Scott said, this has been a textbook win. He's going to celebrate a birthday in the middle of this week. He'll have a trophy from Indianapolis for the second time to celebrate it with. As he goes after a spot on the Borg Warner Trophy later, Simon Pagino wins for the second time the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. Absolutely fantastic in lap. You did that one for us. Good job. Good job, buddy. We do different from where we do our starts and restarts at Mid Ohio, which is effectively on the back stretch, but this will be the finish one lap from now as the white flag comes out. Simon Pagano cooking through turn one. What a drive today. Last lap, again. Make sure you slow it down, turn four. Slow down as Kyle Moyer tells him to slow down for the local yellow. You don't want to run there, through there with too much speed. 
Well, then look at him with the Chief Steward, and he really didn't like these guys running fast through yellow zone, so he's got to slow it down, get down to, you know, just a safe zone here. You can see right here, he slows down, takes it nice and easy. It's tough to do. They asked for 15% off in that segment, but that's difficult for a driver to know what 15% is when you've been driving 100% for almost 90 laps. It's been a six race dry spell as far as wins go for Simon Pagano and for Roger Penske and his crew. It's been since 2008 that they've won here at Mid-Ohio. One corner to go for Simon Pagano looking for his eighth career Verizon IndyCar Series victory. Simon Pagano, Chevrolet take the victory at Mid-Ohio. Nice job, thank you guys. And there is the Indy cars here in the straight. I mean, this guy is a very diverse okay, and complete racer, and he is one now? lap away from being crowned an Indy Car Series champ. And this is the gravy lap. This is where you take it all in. Big smile, a focus, point to point. But man, what a job. He's earned every bit of this championship win. Just a few more corners. It's not over yet because Graham Rahal is not out of his sight. He can't afford to make a mistake here, but we'll probably see him dive over the hill here. One more push to pass. He's still got seven push to passes, more than anybody in the field. But look, he's the green lights on, push to pass. He knows he's got enough fuel. The guy has been the master of the fuel and tires today, and he's just gonna bring it home. Pagano may not have the reputation like a willpower, as being super aggressive, but he is. He thrives, he relishes on pressure situations, and when the biggest pressure situation of his racing career has come calling, right here, right now, he has responded. And there's been significant milestones this season. His first win for Penske at Long Beach, his qualifying performance at Iowa, the pole position yesterday over Will Power, all of that has built confidence. And this is it. Not only did he stamp his authority on it to get that pole position, but now, at the final race of the year, he gets his first win in Sonoma, and Simon Pagano is the 2016 Verizon Car Series champion. And mum and sister and family are delighted, as you would imagine. We'll get back to Simon in just a moment.